Minions, Tim Lee, welcome to Legacy Studio. In today's podcast episode number nine, we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, believe it or not, mental health, but in a different way than you may think. I think you might be slightly surprised by this. I've experienced this just within the last day. I'm exhausted. Uh, let's talk a little bit about it, shall we? <laughs> Well, this is a rather difficult podcast to make because I'm going to be talking a little bit about something that uh, affected me within the last day. Um, I grind incredibly hard on my videos. We are working so hard. We're releasing three new videos a week. I'm so incredibly proud of what we're creating. I just hired an editor. He just released a video that he edited for me uh, that we'll see in the next couple weeks, and he did a fantastic job, which means I can put more effort into making the videos, sending them to him to edit, and we just start this this cohesion of hopefully making better content for you, and if not making better, making more in one way or another, but you take all this stuff in, and, and I'm very OCD. Uh, if something is broken, I fix it, and I don't stop to eat. I don't stop to sleep. I don't think about that. I stick on my goal until I fix it, and nine times out of ten, that can get me in a lot of trouble, and recently, when it comes down to editing videos here on YouTube, um, I don't stop until the job is done. That's just how I've always worked. I've watched my dad work like this, and so I've always been in the same mindset of, get the job done, and then when the job is done, then you sleep. Well, that hasn't worked out so well for me. My my day job as a radio DJ starts at 4 a.m. in the morning while waking up 4, 4.30, being at work by 5. And um, the grind starts at 5, goes all the way till 1 in the afternoon, and then I get to come home at 1, which is wonderful, but then at 1, oh, the sun's disappearing on me, at 1 o'clock then I have from 1 on to work on videos and continue my passion of being here on YouTube, and I have made that a full-time passion. I come here and I immediately get started. Whatever we're working on, whatever game, whatever song, whatever video covering some kind of tech, whatever tech review, um, I get in and I grind it out until it's done. Oftentimes that means I'm not done until 12 I've seen myself even go as late as 1 a.m. in the morning when I need to be up at 4 a.m. the next morning and I have just absolutely gone back and forth and destroying myself and just feeling super tired but going to work and getting it done and coming back and and I've just gone through this cycle over and over and over again and you may think that that causes burnout which it does um, but that's not quite where, why, where we will talk about burnout today that is another topic I do want to talk about but um, yesterday uh, I wake up, and I thought I'd gone to bed a little bit earlier than I usually do. I went to bed at about 10.45, and I had a really bad sleep. But I woke up at my usual time, about 4.30, hopped in the shower. I just could not catch my breath to save my life, and I couldn't understand why. I was really not happy. My chest was tight, and my wife, who's a nurse who's very level-headed, was actually kind of worried that I might be dealing with some kind of a heart condition. Uh, possible heart attack, and so she was really, really worried about me, and she's like, I, I think you should call in, and I'm like, I I can't. We, we have very few people. I have a gig I'm supposed to do today. This is not, I mean, I just, but in saying all that and talking to her, trying to tell her that I can't, I'm just watching myself slowly just falling apart in, in that moment, and so I sit down at our, at our dining room table, I call my boss up and I say, hey, boss, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to um, I need you to line around my shows, which basically means I need you to make the show sound like I'm there even though I'm not there. And uh, I, I need you to set all that up and I need you to do my weathers. I need you to do all that stuff. And I'm going to have to call out today. And I said, but don't expect me to not show up at our gig tonight. I, I, I will be there. And But I think he could tell that there was something wrong. Um, and I was realizing as I was trying to talk to him that I was stumbling over my words. And more importantly, I was starting to cry for no reason whatsoever. Um, I'm invested in my work, but not so invested that I would start crying while I'm talking to my boss. And I'm noticing that. I'm assuming he might be noticing it. Um, and, and it's completely catching me off guard. Why on earth am I starting to cry on the phone calling in sick. It doesn't make any sense. I hang up the phone with him. I'm sitting at the dining room table. I get up and I start walking towards um, the living room and my wife, and she very lovingly directs me to our 
um, our couch where I where I lay down on it, and I just could not stop crying for a little bit there. I was literally stuck crying in the moment. It didn't make any sense. I just I couldn't make sense of it. And in laying there, there was no reason to be in an emotional state. There was no reason to be in this in this thing except the only thing I could think of was my body has finally hit its limit of all the late nights and all the rough sleep. Now, my wife has told me, and I agree with her, that I sleep, have a bit of sleep deprivation issues. Um, uh, no, not sleep deprivation issues. I mean, um, what do they what do they call it? You know, where you snore a lot and you can't breathe certain times. We had a test done, and apparently I'm not getting... Sleep apnea, my wife says. A sleep apnea. And um, with, with that sleep apnea... What do you got there? I didn't know if you'd want this. Do you want me to read now? film? Oh, yeah, Totally. I didn't, Come mean, here. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, I, 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 it's the podcast. Do you want this at all? Before Dude. Store it? Look at this. All right, guys, we got more film. What do we got here? Black and white Kodak. You know, they went out of business a long time ago. 24 exposures, 400 film. That's cool. Can you use that? Oh, yeah, totally. It's it's probably... Exp um, oh, good heavens. Oh, you got 800. Nice. Ah. Uh. Sorry, I just didn't want to store it away. No, that's cool. That's cool. Usually you stick this stuff in the fridge for uh -oh. forever. Oh, so. it's been in the cool basement. Does that count? Yeah, I guess that could count, couldn't it? <laughs> anyway, guys, um, it, like I was saying there, thank you, honey. That's really awesome. Thank you. Wow, that's really awesome. Um, like I was saying, though, she, she was noticing that uh, she was like having to walk me over to our couch and lay me down, and I was just stuck in this whole emotional state. Even when she walked out of the house uh, in the morning, she's like, are you okay? And I'm trying to hold back tears while I'm telling her I'm okay. And uh, and so she left. And, and this is just one of the situations of um, what happens when you go through sleep deprivation. It doesn't just affect you. It affects your family. Because if you're not aware that it is sleep deprivation, suddenly things are... My chest was tight at that moment in time. I was having a hard time catching my breath. My wife was wondering if I was going through some kind of a heart attack or something. I mean, this is serious stuff right now. Uh, and, and and something not to take lightly. Do you go to the hospital? What do you do in that moment in time? Is a tight chest worthy of being considered for uh, a heart attack or something like that? You really don't know. And... I was just in a random emotional state, which was not fixing itself. She left. I cried a little bit more, finally grabbed our dog and wandered downstairs to our bed and fell back asleep with Zoe next to me and uh, woke up about three hours later just enough to see that someone had texted and I really could care less and I fell back asleep for another three hours. And By the time all was said and done, if I've done my math correctly, I got about 12 hours of sleep yesterday, just laying in bed and not waking back up, and um, it it just was m mind blowing how your body just goes. I give up on you. It's my body. I should be able to choose when my body gives up on me. I know my limits, right? And obviously, that's not the case at all. So, um, I'm I was so incredibly frustrated with that. But this is a very important thing. No YouTube fan, no YouTube viewer is going to invest that much of their heart in you to subscribe to your video and hit your like button. No amount of effort that you do is going to increase their desire to focus on you to that extent. There will never be someone who's going to slay to well, slay, I guess it would actually be a good choice of words. But to keep up, stay awake, and fight, and be sleep-deprived for the sake of watching one of your videos. So in saying that, is it worth you putting out all that energy to do that for them? And because I'm a guy who, if something's broken, I fix it, and I don't stop fixing it until it's fixed... Or because I'm the kind of guy, I guess you'd call it OCD, I'm not sure. Uh, because I'm someone who doesn't want to stop on a project until it's done, I don't even like to stop I don't even like to stop to eat. I don't like to stop to sleep. I just want to get the job done and then go to bed and my reward is going to bed or my reward is any of those things. Um, it's a very unhealthy thing to do. You think it's not, you think it's grinding and, and, and working harder than anyone else, but it really isn't. It really isn't. And it leads to what my sepic, my sepic, my second topic for this little podcast is, um, and this. Well, hi there. Hey, do me a favor. Try not to be weirded out right now. 
We're actually a sponsored video, believe it or not. We're sponsored by you, our patrons. And if you haven't become a patron yet, well, admittedly, uh, we'd greatly appreciate you consider doing that because technically we pander in every way, shape, and form to get you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, to hit the like button, and to consider supporting us so we can buy extra technology, get the latest music plugins, and everything else that makes a channel more exciting and more interesting for you. You know, we're a small channel, and of course, we're waiting for the big guys to come and find us, but until then, you are our support. You're what keeps us afloat, and we want to thank you so much for doing that. If you haven't become a patron yet, I hope you'll consider it because you get early access to videos. And, you know, we pander as much as we can to keep your interest. Because viewer retention, my gosh, it's gone like that. I mean, just like that. And the second one is talking heavily about uh, 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 dealing with burnout. Um, I think we've all heard about YouTubers. Uh, hang on a sec here. I think we've all heard about YouTubers who've had uh, burnout. Uh, I think we've seen it. Um, I know as an artist, I have gotten burnout, and I think a lot of my clientele have seen that burnout in me as I was working on their pieces. Um, and, and when it comes down to it, burnout, I, it's understated. How about that? I think it's incredibly understated, and just as sleep deprivation is. Um, and I and, and the way I take that is sleep deprivation is a lack of your body getting the nutrients it needs or the time to process that nutrients that it needs. Uh, I eat absolutely terribly and I sleep absolutely terribly. And both of those do not make a good concoction of success. Um, in the same way, I sleep terribly um, and then I work terribly hard for what a lot of people would consider very little results. To grind away all day long from 1 p.m. as soon as I get off of my day job that I started at 4.30 a.m. and grind all the way until midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning uh, working on a video that only gets 20 or 30 views, hoping that it'll win the lottery as I've talked about in the past. Um, the amount of success that's in that doesn't seem very much. And so it causes the idea of burnout. And I've seen this heavily in my own life because I started a YouTube channel a long time ago teaching caricature and cartoon. I got that channel up to, by the grace of God, got it up to 13,000 subscribers. And I had just checked today, 13,300 subscribers. And in all that time and all that hard work, I was starting to see crazy amounts of views. I was feeling really good about it. And out of nowhere, they dropped. And I mean dropped. Hard rock drop. Um, and actually, after talking with someone today, I'm kind of wondering if I wasn't uh, shadow banned. Someone actually contacted me today on this channel here um, and told me that they're wondering if my channel isn't shadow banned uh, because I use the term God bless and I use the term, you know, I talk about my faith and I talk about how important God is to me and why this channel will succeed if that is his will. Um, and and I, I possibly Google has shadow banned me because of using these words. It's a soft way, basically, of, you know, blocking the content. Uh, I look at my stats, and um, I think it was like 10, 10 votes, and 9 out of those 10 votes have said that they are not getting notifications, though they have hit the bell icon on my videos. Um, so, for some reason, people are not seeing notifications of my videos. It's a very serious thing, obviously. But I think that at one point in time happened to me in the past as well on, on my old drawing channel. And in seeing that and in seeing all the hard work that I was putting into that channel and nothing happening, I began to feel the burnout. Why make videos? Why fight so hard um, to not see a result? But it went a step further than that as well. Because of um, all the drawings I was doing for other clients, I couldn't work on YouTube videos because I had to go where the money was. Where was the money the most? The money was doing drawings for other people. Um, and I had commissions lined up for a year. My goal was to have a commission a week. And so I scheduled people out a complete year um, to have their artwork done. Amazing that they stuck around that long. And I fought tooth and nail to get it done. And, uh, yeah, it got done. And I was very thankful that people stuck around long enough to actually be able to enjoy that. Um, and uh, that was that was really a surprise, in a good way, in a very good way, I think. But at a certain point in time, after grinding all day long, after coming home from work and continuing to grind on other people's artwork, at a certain point in time, you get this thing called burnout. 
And burnout is so much worse than just, I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over. It's not a thought. It's not a thought. It really, to me, it, to me, it truly is a mental illness. It is a, it is a, um, it is a mental health issue because what it does is it, it, it takes what you've loved forever and it makes it something you just do not want to do anymore. And, and when you are doing it, you're thankful to be doing it for other people, but then you have no desire to draw for yourself. Or you can't think of anything positive to draw for yourself because you've just crammed so hard and focused your brain so much attention on other people's artwork that you don't have an, any any energy left for yourself. And in the same way, if I did suddenly feel somewhat creative uh, to, to work on something for myself personally, I suddenly felt incredibly guilty in that moment for not completing other people's artwork. And I found when I was the most creative was actually sitting inside an airplane, flying to some location with my wife. And on those trips, sitting in the airplane, when I really couldn't do much else other than draw what I wanted to draw, I worked on my comics, and I had so much fun doing them. I have a couple comics that I'm incredibly proud of uh, from my past that I enjoy very much because those were moments when you're sitting on an airplane, you can't talk to any clients, you can't do anything, and I just enjoyed celebrating in the moment of that trip with my wife or trips with my wife but I'm also feeling incredibly guilty for not getting work done as soon as I get off that plane you know why didn't I at least do a preliminary sketch on my iPad uh, instead of drawing a, a comic that I liked or something I mean the burnout is a very serious thing and and it won't just take you in a thought it will take you in a mental state and it will yank you down so hard and it will exhaust you um, to, to such a point in time where you will just want to stop doing it and you just do not want to do it anymore. At one time, I was taking orders and I would say, okay, your order will be done in a month. And then I would complete it in a week. So that way I could surprise the client and they're going, wow, that was so fast. Yeah, well, I had the time. You're welcome. You know, and that was a wonderful feeling to be able to give people. Uh, and then at a certain point in time, I just stopped meeting deadlines. I could not keep up with the deadlines. And I couldn't understand why I couldn't keep up with the deadlines. Why can't I keep up with something that at one point in time was so incredibly simple for me to do? To schedule way too far in advance and then back up a little bit and say, now I'm going to knock this out now so I can kind of be the hero of the day. It made sense and it was easy to do. Or was it? Well, at a certain point in time, it wasn't anymore. And it became exhausting. 100% exhausting. And it's such a shame that it did, too. Uh, really such a shame that it did. So, needless to say, the two, the two points I'm trying to make here is do not invest yourself in something so much so that you hurt your mental strengths and that you hurt your body over it. 100%. Your body does not deserve that, and your brain does not deserve that. And if you want to continue living in the passions that you're living in, continuing to live in the goals that you want to reach, you can't do that if your body's not running 100%. And you can't do that if your brain is not running 100%. And you especially can't do it if you're so burned out by it and so exhausted by it. I'm thankful I made it as many years as I did in drawing. Um, 100%, it, it's, it's not worth crying over it's not worth fighting over it's not worth all that extra energy uh, and and i gotta say i've been getting a lot of contacts now from people just at random for some reason i'm the forbidden fruit now where because i've decided to quit doing artwork now i'm getting contacted by a lot of people asking me to do artwork for them and i'm having to tell them no because you guys this is now my passion this is my focus making videos and and making youtube videos and i I don't know if I'm going to make enough money to make up for all the artwork that I'm missing, but 100% I'm going to try, and 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 I really hope I can. I'm putting it all in God's hands. I don't care if I'm getting shadow shadow banned or whatever from YouTube. Uh, I, I'm proud of what I'm doing. I'm proud of what God has given me, and I really don't want to fail in that, and I just want to keep going, and I want to keep keep crunching. But I'm, I need to get proper sleep, and I need to focus on those things, and so do you. So do you. Um, your mental health is worth a, a YouTube view. Because most of those YouTube views aren't even going to watch this all the way through. 
It's the invested people who will watch this all the way through, but it's uh, but most of the views you're going to get, they're only going to watch a small piece of your video. Okay? Unless you're just that good at content and if you're the Mr. Beast of that kind of content, well good for you. But um yeah, when it comes down to it guys, it's not worth it's not worth the fight. Uh, not to mention, if your brain is not running at 100% capacity, you're not creating the content that you could be creating. Um, and and burnout, truly, it's not a choice. It's not a choice. You don't choose to be burned out. You don't choose to be burned out. When that happens, it's too late. You need to be ahead of the curve uh, of, of that. And, and if you see it coming, you need to alter your plans now. If you feel burnout coming... Back up now, or you are going to regret it so fast. Because i got to tell you something. I have no desire to work on artwork. And yes, there's money passing me by right now. But for some reason, I still feel somewhat okay telling people no. I'm scared. I'm very scared about telling people no. But when it comes down to it, um, I'm too... I feel too good about what I'm doing here with you guys. And I hope that you enjoy it, too. Uh, do me a favor, folks. If you do like this, um, hitting that like button helps me. Uh, believe it or not, YouTube sees every single one of those likes. And every time you hit that like button, that helps me get out into YouTube a little bit further. And considering that right now no one is getting notifications, even those who have hit the bell uh, on the, my videos, uh, it would mean an awful lot to me if you would hit that like button uh, and even share one of my videos on your social media. Uh, we have an amazing person, uh, Lucas Music Official, who is our Patreon, uh, and he supports us, and he is alone in our Patreon because the videos that are supposed to be getting out there and reaching the masses are not getting out there, uh, and he's just alone, the only YouTuber who is supporting me on Patreon, getting to enjoy a month of early access to content. Um, and no one else knows about it, and he's in there by himself. He's a, he's a trooper. We call him our commandante of, uh, of minions. Uh, we appreciate him very much. But if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button. Um, our content is not getting out there. We're getting blocked in one reason or another, uh, whether it's because of my faith and the statements I make of my faith or whether it's because of uh, something else. I'm, I'm not demonetized, I'll tell you that, but uh, people aren't seeing my work, and I would love it if they could. Uh, if this has helped you in any way, then leave a comment down below. If you've been through this yourself, leave a comment down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and I want to thank you so very much for um, for focusing on yourself and making sure that you don't go down the same paths that I go down. I am so incredibly proud of what we're doing here. Uh, I'm so incredibly proud of our new editor, Jake. I'm so excited to work with our new cameraman that we're going to be working with here in just a couple weeks. Um, I'm... I. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens next. Uh, little blessings keep coming in that show me that we're going the right direction. What that means, I'm not sure. Um, and it's going to be you guys that help me get there. We're going to keep this podcast short today. I, and I know this was mostly me talking about the past couple days and, and, and all that stuff. But I hope that in some strange, weird, fanciful way that the knowledge that I've imparted here and the experience that I've had in the past couple days will inspire you not to go down that same road. Um, and I hope that you drive for your passions. I hope you succeed in those passions and I hope you go crazy over them and find joy in them. Um, I keep thinking about, um, um, and Roman Atwood, who unfortunately isn't online much these days after his mother passed away, but he used to say that, uh, uh, he would cry over not being able to work on videos full time. And I feel the exact same way. Um, my YouTube is my passion. What I do on this channel is my passion. Uh, and I don't get enough of it and, and not getting enough of it. You can tell I fight for it. And the next thing you know, I hurt my body over it, which is such a terrible thing. So in any case, I love you guys. God bless you richly. We'll see you next time right here on another legacy studio podcast. I hope this touched your heart. If you want to see some of our previous episodes, you can check it right over here. Uh, and if you want to, let's see, if you want to check out my music, go and take a look over here. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, by the way, we got some gaming episodes coming up here in the next couple weeks, so keep tuned for that. Uh, God bless you guys. We'll see you next time. Jake, thank you for your edits, and thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>